being all equal and independent, no one ought to harm another in his life, health, liberty, or possessions. Reading furnishes the mind only with materials of knowledge, it is thinking that makes what we read ours. New opinions are always suspected, and usually opposed, without any other reason but because they are not common. The only defense against the world is a thorough knowledge of it. We are like chameleons, we take our hue and the color of our moral character, from those who are around us. Parents wonder why the streams are bitter, when they themselves poison the fountain. To love truth for truth's sake is the principal part of human perfection in this world, and the seed plot of all other virtues. Education begins the gentleman, but reading, good company and reflection must finish him. No man's knowledge here can go beyond his experience. To prejudge other men's notions before we have looked into them is not to show their darkness but to put out our own eyes. All wealth is the product of labor. I have always thought the actions of men the best interpreters of their thoughts. Our business here is not to know all things, but those which concern our conduct. A sound mind in a sound body, is a short, but full description of a happy state in this world, he that has these two, has little more to wish for, and he that wants either of them, will be little better for anything else. Few men think, yet all will have opinions. Hence men's opinions are superficial and confused. There is frequently more to be learned from the unexpected questions of a child than the discourses of men. But there is only one thing which gathers people into seditious commotion, and that is oppression. No one can be put out of this estate, and subjected to the political power of another, without his own consent. In transgressing the law of nature, the offender declares himself to live by another rule than that of reason and common equity. There are a thousand ways to wealth, but only one way to heaven.